Hello and welcome to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. And I've been having some fun and frustration with <laughs> a gargoyle, uh, gargoyle characters. I've tried fighters, I've tried monks. Fighters have been the best success. Monks are more difficult. Uh, let's have a look at my high scores here. Um, yeah, this guy was a level 26 gargoyle fighter of Chabriados. And that's the kind of build I'm trying to get to work here. Um, I recorded. I don't know. No, it wasn't this one, it was a different one. Um, Garg, this guy I recorded parts of, and it was uh, a very good game, but a stupid death, so. Um, any other, there's a Gargoyle Earth, Earth Element list. There's a recent monk I tried. It was going very well, and then he died in the Orcish Mines of all things. Oh, that knight, knight was wielding a plus two bardiche of protection. Okay, well, anyway, um, gargoyle, fighter, bases and flails, our name is, how about Larry? <laughs> it's a kind of uh, I was thinking Gargoyle, Gary, Gary, Jerry, Mary, Larry, and well, Larry as a kind of very slight homage to one of the best comedy shows on TV ever, Parks and Recreation. Highly recommend everyone watch that show. It's amazing. So, um, I'll take some stones. <clears throat> the thing about gargoyles is that they are pretty, pretty good. <laughs> um, they're of course made of stone, so we are immune to poison and resistant to torment. Uh, And uh, let's see here. We get this bonus to AC, which will increase with our levels. I think it goes to at least plus 15. So we get really, really tough. Uh, some resist negative and electricity built in. We don't need to breathe, so. Um, not sure what that does, actually. So we can't walk into deep water. Well, I know. And immune to petrification and rotting. This is a good potential <clears throat> for an extended endgame character. And as you saw on the high scores, I've reached level 26 with one of these guys, he was really good and then got into trouble in Waltz 5, which was just a death trap. Oh, and I had a, I had a worst case of, of bad luck in there. Um, cause the plan here is to worship Chabriados and also get a, a lot of spell casting going. So this will be a cool hybrid thing. Um, yeah, that guy who died in Waltz 5, um, I was trying desperately to escape from a, yeah, like a whole mob of, <clears throat> excuse me, a whole mob of crazy shit. I'm gonna go intelligence here, by the way, for the future spellcasting. Um, 
I was trying to get away and I had control teleport and I had the blink spell and lots of teleport scrolls and let me see if I remember I I activated control teleport and I read a teleport scroll but the way that it works now as far as I know is that when you use control teleport it takes a longer time for it, the teleport to kick in so you get this message that you feel your translocation being delayed or something like that and so I thought well I'll do a blink in the meantime um, just to because I was you know close to dying um, but that made the control teleport act on the blink so I got to choose a direction to blink and naturally I blinked towards the stairs and I landed like one tile away from a staircase so I you know, could quite easily just take one step to to escape up the stairs and live of course, at the same moment I took the step towards the staircase, the the teleport that I had initiated <laughs> kicked in. Uh, that's horrible. Um, and and the the control teleport uh, was of course expired, or I had used that on the blink, so. I ended up randomly teleporting into one of the big, uh, one of the big rooms in the vaults, and died shortly after that. So <laughs> that can happen. Um, oh, near starving. That's um, yeah. We might go well scale mail six ten ring mail five seven but it is glowing let's risk this hmm. cold resistance Let's see nine eight and with scale mail is ten seven so slightly less AC slightly more Evasion and cold resistance. I'll take that for now. And ring mails are better for spell casting. We might want to go even lighter armor eventually, or at some point. We'll see. That's level four. We got a point of intelligence there. I think we get a point in strength or intelligence every four levels as a gargoyle. And, um, well, I did say this in the one of the other gargoyle fighter videos I recorded. Um, but I don't know if I'm <laughs> gonna upload those. Uh, we'll see. Um, but, ooh, Mace of Protection. But yeah, then. The guy that inspired this build is a another YouTuber. His name is Patrick Ahern. This is not good, by the way. Um, okay. <laughs> Hold up in here. Yeah. So this guy Patrick Ahern is uh, a really good player. Um, I'm dying because I'm a really bad player. Might. Come on. No, I'm. I'm not a really bad player. I wouldn't say that, but. I can 
get better. Um, anyway, he has been playing several um, characters similar to this. Um, gargoyle fighters or monks of Chabriados. Oh god. I've kind of learned from him, <laughs> and uh, I'll try to put a link into the description here about that. Um, I don't want to die now. Mm. This was a bad play. Uh, it's it's haste. Okay, that helps. That's just a random potion. The one I had. Yeah, this one I was hoping for curing, but it was haste. So now I should be able to run away from this beast and find some upstairs and rest. this okay Use the Maze of Protection. It's plus one and gives plus five to AC, so... Oh, here comes the Ice Beast as well. Um, uh, <clears throat> what do we do? Haste. and the vessel will follow me upstairs so yeah they do but now at least we can get into a hallway here we can kill the vessel Maybe. Just hope these two glowing puce potions are good. Brilliance, that does not help. How about the yellow potion. Oh, lignification. Well, that gives me a super high AC, so it just might work. Huh. It did. Um. Yeah, more intelligence. Now let's see. Here's Dovan. Um, He had different spells before <laughs> before Duvesa died. We should be able to should be able to take him out. There he is.
ya. Ok. Let's start to read some scrolls here. Recharging. Okay. <clears throat> I like to read. Or start reading scrolls on dungeon level 4. Might have said this before, but that's because this is the first level where the, t the temple can show up. And quite often one of the scrolls you found is uh, magic mapping. And you want to get your god as early as possible. We have lots of jewelry. Let's um See, let's read scrolls, enchant weapon. Um, guess I'll stick to the mace of protection. Yeah, it's 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 better than the flail now. This one is plus zero and ten. It just becomes plus five and ten. And plus five to AC, yeah, that's a new brainer. I don't know if I'll use the blowgun, but well, yeah, we do want to put some points into throwing at some point, but random uselessness, fog, and fear. Okay, uh, let's. Identify some um, jewelry inaccuracy. Okay, what about the rings protection from magic? This one positive energy. This amulet of rage. Okay. There's a whole lot of goblins, so yeah, there's Robin. It's usually not a huge problem. It's a fun little unique. And Pickel. Wielding a whip of freezing, so our cold resistance armor is already paying off. These could be he um, heal wounds or curing, but <sighs> okay, good. We took out Pikel, Pikel, I don't know. Um, good, it's level seven, and his slaves are now um, friendly. ring here um, cursed ring of fire okay that's that's a bit bad we don't know remove curse
Okay, that's level 8. Let's do this. <clears throat> this is really strange to see an altar to Jaiva, the slime god. This early on. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna experiment with Jaiva this time. Um, I've actually never worshipped Jaiva, I think. There's an altar of Gozag. Not gonna worship him either. Try to scroll. Noise. Okay. Okay. There's Edmund and the zombie. We just need to adjust the microphone there. Um, Edmund is usually okay. Um, I'll start. Whoops! What happened? trickle a bit into throwing because a ranged option is uh, quite useful. Oh, come on. Oh, he has a flail of protection. That's why he's so hard to hit. There we go. one but accuracy is now base accuracy is plus one base damage 11 still think this is gonna be base damage 10 but uh, plus five to base accuracy so I th think the mace is still better. Potion tried by monster, that should be a good one. The Ring of Ice. Um, hmm. Where this helmet? Oh, smiting. Uh. could be good. I do like the protection brand, especially in early game here. Uh, yes, let's remove curse. I don't really want to use the ring of fire. Storing of positive energy. Uh, wrong hand. There we go. Uh. Come on, that's enough draining. Just identify 
this berserk. Egypt shouldn't be a problem. Grinder can be tough. <laughs> but I've killed him with. Worse characters than this one. So. Yes. <coughs> Sif Muna and some orcs. Okay. Nine. Um, I'll keep putting stuff in or points <laughs> into uh, intelligence. soon um, should find Chabriados is here and he is Oops. yes and he right away increases our attributes and he will continue doing that um, as piety grows I think it's up as much as uh, plus 15 to all attributes he also makes us slow. At least he lowers movement speed. It's already at 1.3. Um, so we need to keep that in mind now. That's the real difficulty with this kind of character for me has been to, um, to get used to a different playstyle when you are. Low, you can't just run away and all that stuff. You can't use haste. You no. Know, should buy heal wounds and curing, but Ambrosia. Those are quite Neat potions can be rather useful. Well, they make you confused, but you also regenerate a nice amount of hit points and mana. And here is a ghost, an experienced high elf warper. Portal projectile, blink. 
Yeah, and the nice thing about the ghosts who have blink is that they sometimes just blink out of sight for no reason. Now he teleported us. So, okay, that works. We can, of course, eat poisonous flesh. That's good. Yeah, these guys are nasty. Let's get, whoops, throwing up to about level seven seems to be a good spot. Our first spell book, a book of beasts. Summon butterflies. Yes. And um, <clears throat> I'm not going to train any spell skills yet, but soon. Oh no, Runar. Runar. Demon spawn wanderer of Zom. Oh yeah. <sighs> yeah, I sometimes <laughs> have a. Well, I've tried several times with demon spawn wanderers and worshipping Zom. It's just about the most random character you could get. Um, <sighs> oh, I can't really use this one because it makes me faster and Chabriados doesn't like that. Well, let's try to fight the ghost here on the stairs and just run away if we fail. It's working. Kind of. Come on. Yes. So good boost to my throwing skill. Uh, gloves of archery are nice. Gloves of Archery give you a boost to all kinds of ranged weapons, equivalent to slaying plus four. So that's, uh, hmm. I'll put them on the shopping list, so we... Oh, Artifact Scimitar. Don't really want to go... Swords, but... That's one amazing sword. <laughs> well, yeah. 
plus 11, it gives poison attack, resist poison is irrelevant for a gargoyle, resist cold is good, and dexterity plus a 7. Freezing, maybe. If we should need to. There's diff menos. Yeah, that scimitar was really nice. Might just be worth it to train. To train long blades just for that one. Sorry. Let's just see what this new ring is. And it's ooh, plus six to intelligence. to spread out the skills. I usually stick to one weapon type, but... Okay, yeah. throwing is good enough. Train long blades a little bit at least. Okay, hmm. dungeon level eight. And how long is this video? Eight minutes. Um, this seems like a good place to stop for now. Um, but yeah, things are going rather well, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so goodbye and and uh, thank you for watching.